All right, it's your last chance, basically, today, if you are considering buying I-bonds as a safe place to put your money to work. Not your last chance, but your last chance for the higher rates that have been in place for the last six months. I-bonds are government-issued, inflation-protected, with interest rates that shift twice a year. One of those shifts is coming up at the end of this week. You can do this through the end of this week and still lock in the interest rate of 9.62% for the next six months, but you have to complete that purchase by Friday when the new rate is expected to drop to roughly 6.5%. So why is today really the last day? It's because it can take a day or two for that purchase to go through, and you need a confirmation email by Friday to lock in that higher interest rate. The downside to I-bonds is you're locked in for 12 months, and if you cash in before five years, you give up three months, the last three months of interest. But still, when people are excited about the two-year at 4.4%, um, and you can lock in north of 9.6%. It's not a bad place. The uh, real issue is you can only lock, buy up to $10,000. Um, you can take another $5,000 and buy it as from, from your returns on your tax uh, refund if you get those two. Um, but it's a really great deal, especially when you compare it to either CDs or a savings account. Meantime, some IPO news. I got to go do that. Intel self driving car unit, Mobileye, it's pricing its IPO at $21 per share. It's a dollar above the targeted range. Values the company at roughly $17 billion, which is more than the $15.3 billion that Intel paid for the company in 2017, but far, far less than the $50 billion or more that the company had planned when it unveiled its plan originally for the listing late last year. To get the deal done, Intel adjusted its offering, selling fewer shares than planned and lining up cornerstone buyers for roughly 40% of the deal that's happening right here at the NASDAQ this morning.